Today marks 125 years since the Battle of Homestead. Thousands of locked out steel workers battled guards in one of the bloodiest encounters in American labor history. This afternoon, there was a laying of wreaths at the graves of the fallen workers. Tonight, Academy Award winning actor Mark Rylance will give a special performance at the Homestead Carnegie Library. Rylance co wrote a play about the event and its aftermath, saying the Battle of Homestead is not only a great drama of its, own, of its time, but one that has special significance for lives today. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has more. It was 125 years ago today that Pinkerton guards armed with Winchester rifles came down the Monongahela River on barges to Homestead to break the will of the steelworkers there. It was very early in the morning and they came down a little bit further down the river to a place called the Pump House, uh, 300 of them. No one knows who fired first, but at the Pump House, the Pinkertons exchanged shots with thousands of workers. And in the end, seven workers and three Pinkertons were left dead, hundreds of others injured. For Mark Rylance, the renowned stage actor and Academy Award winner, is the stuff of great drama. Yeah, enormous drama. In fact, the difficulty for me is, is, is trying to contain and think what is the essential drama of it? What's the essential question? Mm -hmm. What would Shakespeare do? For years now, Rylance and co-author Peter Reeder have been working on a play about the battle and about the two great forces of labor and management on a collision course. And tonight, in a performance at the Homestead Carnegie Library, Rylance will be portraying Henry Clay Frick, who locked out the workers and built a wall around the mill. Frick and Andrew Carnegie were modernizing the mill, expanding production with less workers through new technology. But it was Frick who sent the Pinkertons to cement his plans and break the union. He definitely could have made some choices that would have been uh, softer, that wouldn't involve such violence. And I don't think Mr. Carnegie wanted him to be that violent, that, that direct. He, he was a kind of artist of managers. He admired this incredibly efficient uh, science of management, which was born at that time. Two weeks later, Frick would survive an assassination attempt after being shot in his downtown office by the anarchist Alexander Berkman. Sympathy for the workers diminished, the governor sent in the state militia, and the union was broken. But rather than dusty old history, Ryland says the battle was over machines replacing labor, something that resonates today as automation, driverless cars, and robots may threaten the livelihood of workers. It's hard now when you look at the old black and white pictures of the mills here in 1892 to think that this is, this is cutting edge technology. What are they going to do with all those people? The battle and its aftermath were the great drama of its time, but that history is still vital today, as the things people fought for and died for back then are still being fought over now. At the Pump House in Homestead, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.